Hello, this is Denise from Forsker Micro Farm, and today is the first day of Spinoff Magazine's Mitt Along, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and spin and knit a mitt on top of the other, like, 17 things I have to do, uh, but why not? And I'm going to vlog about it. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to do this every day for the duration that's a lot, and um, when I did the vlog for the Spin Together every day, that was really hard because I had to process the video every day, so I had to keep them short, and I have a really old desktop, so it takes a really long time for the videos to, you know, get together, and so I don't think I want to do it every day, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm down here in the storage room trying to decide what it is I want to spend. And thinking, I wish I had put the app on the phone so I can show you, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, phone screen because then I'll show you how I, you know, packed all the fibers and something that's going to make it a lot easier for me to figure out what I am going to spin. Okay, so anyway, uh, I have a little video I did for the Angora Bunny Spinners and I'll put that up about uh, the barcodes, as you can see them, and how I pack my fibers. And what I'm doing to this room down here. But anyway, I'm using an app and uh, taking pictures and cataloging everything. So basically, I would just open my app, um, if you could see the, the other side, and it would uh, give me everything broken down into categories. I have it as um, roving, bats, raw wool, hand spun yarn, um, hand dyed yarn. And uh, I think there's another category I had planned to add. I couldn't remember. But anyway, so in this case, to make things easier, uh, especially since I'm already in the middle of two different projects and I'm not going to take the time to process any fibers, I'm going to look into my stash of roving. So now uh, with the barcodes, it tells me what's in uh, each individual bag that's packed together. But in the big bags like that, there's a sticker on the side and it tells me that there is bats inside that bag and whether the bats are light or dark. Roving, and I sorted it into light or dark. And basically that's about it. So I can have a peek at the bag and it'll tell me, you know, what's inside of it. So I'm thinking I have two choices I really want to work on. There is some alpaca baby doll inside of it's a bat. And I thought I might do something with that. And um, there was another one. It was the CVM. But I'm thinking the CVM I want to save for an actual breed study. So maybe I'll save that one. Also, too, I have to consider that um, how much, of course, is inside of the bags. And I did put that when I listed it. So I know pretty much um, how many ounces. Now, this is for one mitt. And I've already picked up my pattern. It's a pattern I've done before. And I did that in alpaca. No, no, no. That one was in angora and fin. So I'm going to repeat that pattern for me because I sold that mitt. And it's only going to be about 200 yards. So I don't need much more than two or three ounces at the most, depending on how thick I spin it. And if, as you can see, I have plenty more than two or three ounces of most things. Hmm. All right, so let me pull out one of the bags. I have to move my sewing table uh, where I was packing up fibers and labeling them. And like I said, if you want to see how I decide uh, how to pack things and make the labels, that's a totally different video. What I decided on was the um, alpaca baby doll south down bat. And let's see, this is out of my Knit Fairy stash. And there we go. You can get an idea of where it came from. 50% alpaca, 50% baby doll wool. 
light gray four ounces uh, now I don't know if this seller is still on Etsy because I don't even know how old this bat is uh, Nancy could have had it for years so I really don't know but if you're curious you can always find out and uh, I chose this bat for a number of reasons uh, well basically because it's two fibers I've already worked with so I don't really need it for a breed study so it's pretty much white and free uh, I also chose it because baby doll should prove to be a very nice springy wool uh, it should be pretty comfortable for mitts I had some choices um, just pure alpaca or like even Romney but I wanted to save that Romney for a breed study and I'm really not quite sure how I feel about it now I think notoriously I think I said that I'm not a big fan of baby doll and that was in the raw form because uh, although it is really crimpy a lot of times this is really short and it's like below my short threshold but this of course is already uh, carded for me so that should not be a problem at all and it's just gray I know people love color and there are some people who just can't stand to spend endless amounts of white or black or brown or just kind of plain fiber but for me it really doesn't matter um, I'm I don't wear a lot of color in my everyday life although I dye a lot of color for other people so this is perfectly fine for me and also uh, for my own personal self I tend to dye wool or items afterwards because I feel like um, after the item is done it kind of tells me what color it wants to be sometimes and then to my purpose for it might change uh, so I just kind of leave things alone for the most part um, when I'm just kind of spinning the spin okay so at any rate this looks like this is gonna be some really nice roving now I'm going to use the ladybug and this poor thing as you can see it's kind of dusty but I've been doing a lot of spinning and not a lot of dusting at some point I have to attend to uh, maintenance of my wheel because it's been getting a lot of views and there's a really good video about how to break down a, a ladybug and clean it thoroughly and I'll have to find that in my watch later videos and uh, put a link to that but it's, it's a really nice video at any rate one of the things I don't talk a lot about are ratios I, I very seldom do I ever say anything about what ratios I'm using on the wheel and it comes from two reasons. First of all, um, my first wheel was a Louette. And if you know that Louettes are notoriously strong on the uptake, um, really no matter what ratio you're using. And so a lot of the my spinning involved taking off a brake band and controlling the speed just with the treadle alone. And two, when you're using a spindle, which was the next thing I had, you're not really, you don't have whirls and different ratios in order to control the spinning use. How fast are you uh, twisting it and letting it spin? And um, basically, how long are you holding the spindle to allow the amount of twist go up? So a lot of times I'm manipulating the ratio by how fast I'm treadling and how long I'm holding the fiber before I send it through the orifice and I've just gotten accustomed to doing that whereas the wheels the um, ladybug and the country classic you know allow for adjustment that I just really don't make a lot of and I had a really hard time with that when I first got the ladybug I was accustomed to not making any adjustments and the take up was I couldn't get the take up and I couldn't quite figure out how to make all these tiny little adjustments in order to get it to take up so I finally figured that one out but that was that was complicated for me um, to make those adjustments on the wheel so generally I just kind of set it and go and the only time I ever really mess with the ratios are for things like you uh, bulky yarns which I don't tend to spin on the ladybug because these hooks will get them I do that on the Louette 
And for things like Angora or anything I feel might need a lot more twist, so I'm not holding it forever or traveling really hard, I may change uh, the whirl or just change the ratio on the whirl. I think I have the smallest whirl on here. Yeah, I do. Okay, so like I said, I don't really, I don't really dwell much on ratios. A lot of it is just traveling and by hand. But if you're in the ratios, go for it. I'm going to leave this right in um, the second position right here. And I have the ratios. I have the ratios actually written down somewhere. So if you're not familiar with the lay bug, I could tell you what the ratios are on this wheel. Um, also, the I think it's called the Ellen, Aline, Ellen. I don't know. I'll have the link down to the Reverie uh, page where the pattern is. But um, also, I guess I don't worry too much about gauge. <laughs> It's terrible. You know, I don't knit too many things where gauge is a serious issue. So I don't worry too much about it. Um, and whatever it, yarn it calls for, you know, I'm going to spend something pretty close to it and it will be okay. But I will let you know. Let me have a peek. Okay, so it's the Eowyn Knits hmm. by uh, Anne. It's in the Ravelry, and it says that it is DK. So, of course, what I normally do is get my trusty spinner's control card, which is, like, stuck on to here. At any rate. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, there's a little groove here on my spinner's control card, if you haven't seen this already. And it has the DK right here. And so I'm going to spin with that in my, I'll put it on my leader, spin a little bit, check it out, make sure I'm going in the right direction. But like I said, since I don't, I'm not like a stickler for a gauge as far as this is concerned, um, then uh, it's close enough. That'll be good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and start spinning. This will be my stopping point today for uh, making the video for the first day of the mid along. But I will do a little more spinning today. Well, probably this evening. And so far, so good. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much was in this one. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and spin it all up. But I know I won't need all of it to make the mitts. Uh, baby doll, such a nice springy fiber. It's, you know, if it wasn't so short, it probably could be one of my favorite fibers. But uh, we all know how I feel about short fibers. But this is turning out uh, really nicely. It's going to be a, a really nice spin. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there. I will see you later, probably when I do the next recording. Uh, the... Uh, singles will be ready to apply.